trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense. I told you. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not going to win like that. Fine. Okay, now so What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero back with more WWE 2K20, my career mode. Thank you for joining me, as always. We uh, ran into Samoa Joe. He is back after seven years. He just cost Red the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's all going down. If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Really? Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking? Yeah. Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait, maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart, and I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. I seriously have no idea why Samoa Joe's got a bionic arm. No idea what's going on with that shit. But here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. The only person that I will recognize as the American hero. I figured it would only be time, you know, until we saw Kurt Angle appear in this career mode, especially with Von Bitch throwing around that nickname. This is a match I never expected to see tonight. Kurt Angle. Get some more Jody Yellow Health. Okay, I can do that. Von Braun's legal case against Angle has clearly caused him distress so much that he's willing to risk his well-being to get Brooklyn to drop the lawsuit altogether. But Kurt Angle should have just stopped using the American hero nickname when he had the chance, and none of this would be happening. 
Instead, he let his pride get in the way of rational thinking. Now he's in for a world of physical and financial. Seriously, no idea why 2K thought putting a bionic arm on Samoa Joe was a good idea. Like, don't get me wrong, only a few episodes ago I was talking about how sometimes the fantasy aspect of the My Career Mode is a good thing. The whole going into the underworld to find the Undertaker, I thought that was great. Um, Terminator Samoa Joe, on the other hand, not necessary. Why would someone only get a bionic arm so they could return to the WWE and have an advantage over someone who they despise? I, it would never happen. Some of you are probably arguing, well, Zira, no one's ever going to go to the fires of hell to grab the Undertaker either. That's never going to happen. I understand that, but in retrospect of what's going on in this game, Samoa Joe could have returned without the bionic arm and it would have had just as much impact. Listen, fellas, we always know Samoa Joe competes at another level. Tonight, it's almost anticlimactic to think that uh, than you're used to Samoa it's Joe had to get the bionic arm because maybe he feels he couldn't beat Trey without it. I'm just saying. Alright, Joe, I need you to come to me. Woo! There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Picking up on what Corey mentioned about Joe striking, his quickness combined with accuracy. Angle slam attempt. Joe counters. Uh -oh. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Roll him up. Kurt Angle from behind. The most devastating move in wrestling. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is Get wrecked, in. Joe. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun isn't going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt, Kurt Angle's now a free man. And now he can officially be known again as the American hero. Little bit angry, are we, Joe? Welcome back. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the best of five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. Yeah, but let's make it a no DQ so Samoa Joe can interfere and fuck me over. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's been a while since we've seen Drew come down to the ring. Let's, uh, let's admire it, shall we? WWE Championship opportunity. WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. I think it's been a long time coming because uh, we beat Samoa Joe for the Universal Championship as a fluke, and since then the only thing we've really accomplished is uh, defeating the Undertaker, which is huge. But in the way of holding championships and stuff, I mean we've just had Red go on a two and a half year undefeated streak as women's champion. While Drew Demoy hasn't even been given an opportunity for a title. So, this is huge. And no less against one of my favorite superstars of all time currently. Well, currently, not all time, but currently. Adam Cole, baby! Get ready for it. 
There it is. That is a sight I would love to see in real life. Adam Cole on SmackDown with the WWE Championship around his waist. Well, at the moment now would be on Raw. But you know what I'm saying. A main roster title around his waist. I think it's uh, all but inevitable at this point, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see it happen at some point. He is the definition of a team player. Take one look at Adam Cole. Try to imagine one day in his Boom. season. Tell me you wouldn't be cocky too. Oh, good heavens. Are you finished yet? I go on all night about Adam Cole, Saxton. Don't test me. This is going to be one hell of a matchup. Let's get it started. My back's up against it already. Listen to the crowd. Introducing the challenger. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Drew DeMoy. Come on, WWE Universe. Get around him. And introducing the champion from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds. He is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Adam Cole. It would have been cool if the crowd chanted Bay Bear after the announcer said Adam Cole, but just a minor thing. With the Immortal World Heavyweight Championship. Time for me to uh, shock his system. Boom. Well, let's get it. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes. Get Adam Cole. To wow. For the WWE get Adam Cole to red health is what I was going to say. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn. I wonder. But I've got a theory herself. here. She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. In mixed martial arts. And I'm not going to say I told you so if it goes down. Out of fear of uh, it not happening, but. It's no disqualification. So, does anybody feel Samoa Joe is going to interfere in this match? Help me win the title? Just so he can get a match up against me to take the title off me himself? I mean, that's what the feud started over originally. He got the grumps on because uh, Braun Strowman defeated me for the Universal Championship. So it makes sense that he'd return to take a title off me. Let's see how it plays out. It is no DQ after all, so uh, plenty of chairs. You know I was looking for something a little bit different, but it was just chair, tonight. chair, chair. Boom. Oh. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Just a step quick. Oh! Nice boot to the face while holding the chair. That was poetry in motion. STO, thank you. Well, flat liner. Whatever you want to call it. Get away from me, Adam Cole. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't reverse. There we go. Hooked up. Boom. Package driver. Hello, Mr. Chair. The manner in which Adam Cole debuted in NXT wasn't enough. Look at his body of work since then to see how vicious this man can be. Everyone having victims to this man's assaults. Look, I don't know why you're acting surprised. The Undisputed Era founder knows it takes brute force to get the job done and win championships. He shouldn't have to apologize to you or anyone else for that. 
The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. How is Adam Cole going to remain alive? He'll find a way. Something that was recognized earlier was Adam Cole's trail of destruction since coming to NXT. Get it's up. obvious that he will do anything he can to get ahead, no matter who gets hurt along the way or what it costs. I feel like Ow. A a dinner table playing possum. All that matters is that Adam Cole is a proven winner and an effective leader. Plain and simple. We've almost got him to red health, which is fantastic. It's not Very curious to see what goes down when we get him to that point, though. Saw that one coming. We've seen this before. It's going to set the crowd alight. To put this match in the book. I think the realization is beginning to creep in. He may have to do something spectacular. Drew Demoy loves going to the top rope. You're about to witness it again, ladies and gentlemen. The brilliance of the Poison Rana. I told you. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not going to win like that. Fine. Oh. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. There it is. I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result... Well, I had a feeling that was going to be the case when the stipulation was made. Champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get He'll help me soon. win it so he can take it off me. Come on, guys. Clue on. As if the commentary team haven't worked that out yet. He can't take a trick. He wins the Universal Championship by fluke. He wins the WWE Championship via interference. He just wants to be respected, people. Damn it! I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's going to look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me. Revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't! Say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years and the surgery and the pain and I am going to take it back. Hey, you want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. Okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. Bring it on. I'll shock your system a second time. From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the mixed match challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. Great. 
So they set up a match so no interference is basically, you know, almost a guaranteed thing. And we're going to have him interfere anyway. Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. And introducing the champion, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the WWE Heavyweight Champion. It does look good around my shoulder. Thank you. Thank you. The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. Well, I wouldn't call it a gold belt, Corey. How's this going to go down? Get Adam Cole to yellow health. I can do that. At least we didn't kick start the match with uh, both of us missing a drop kick. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do... Here we go. That's what I wanted to do. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Oh, yeah. Scoop slam. He's in full control now. Oh, jeez, that could take you out. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oh. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Ever the opportunist. Amazing super kick, courtesy of Adam Cole. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Oh, again. Irish whip him while he's in the ring. I can do that. Two superstars, and they both want one thing. The WWE Adam, please. World Heavyweight title. One of the biggest jewels in the WWE jewelry box. Adam, 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 please. please. Adam, Adam. I like my crush. Inverted. Oh, right up there. Am I doing it too strong? There we go. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue, just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Brilliant. Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe. So Thank Trey God for Red. So he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real get him friend, out of here, boys. Any help he could get. See you, Joe. Is equally determined Some good that augmented arm did him. If two security guards were able to drag him backstage. Now all we got to do is win this match, which is still going to be besmirched by the fact that uh, Joe interfered. But hey, take what we can get. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Ah, oh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Get up. Let's put the focus back in what you informed us of, Corey, and that's Adam Cole. Drew Driver. Before coming to NXT. It's an Is that enough? One, many two. No, it's not. Yeah, that resume also includes competing in the Tokyo Dome, Michael. Actually, that match was against undisputed era cohort Kyle O'Reilly. Back then, Adam Cole knew what being too sweet was all about. Great reflexes. He's playing with him now. Why did he set? Why did he turn around and do that? 
I was looking dead at Adam Cole, ready for the finisher, and he set up as if he was doing a wake-up taunt. What stupid shit is this? The added pressure of the steel cage may be getting to Oh, great. Figure four. Oh, in the clutches. Fighting for survival. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Oh, wow. What a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Nope. Boom. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Phoenix Flash! Did you like that, ladies and gentlemen? Did you have your cameras out in time to get that on camera? Uh-oh. Running senton. Up and boom. Knee drop right on target. And crank. Shining Wizard. Whack. Can't afford him to sneak ahead of this. Oh, Get up, Cole. Certainly looking in command at the moment. Yeah, Get up, no Cole. Question. He's firing on all cylinders. Up Drew driver time. Championship level move. How is Can we activate the Demoy device? Oh, you better believe we can. It's game over for Adam Cole. One, two. Three. Another successful retention. Here is your winner, and still the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you, Ref. Wow. Now that's a commanding win. <laughs> I'll tell you, Adam Cole's never going to be an industry ruler with losses like this. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. I don't think Adam Cole is still going to be happy with the outcome. And I don't think Drew's entirely happy with the outcome either. He wants to be able to, to defend this on his own merit. He wants respect, goddammit. Great it. job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. We will see about that. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see about that in the next episode, because this is where this one comes to an end. Thank you for joining me, as always. If you have been enjoying this, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you're new to the channel, there's plenty of other gameplays to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, why not hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation in the process. Right next to that, hit the bell icon so you get notified every single time something brand new hits the channel. Down below in the description, you can find my social media links. If you don't follow me on those yet, go ahead and do so. It'd be hugely appreciated. But you will also find the WWE 2K20 My Career Mode playlist. If you've missed any episodes along the way, feel free to go catch up in your own time. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.